Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing a dual case double header of 2021 Topps 5 Star Baseball. This is number one. This 29 spots, everyone gets a random team at LLB, all card ship obviously, no Rockies in the break. Um, this was this went so quickly, we actually already loaded another dual case, um, which I am guarantee spots have already sold as well. So. Uh, if anybody wants to get in another one of these, we have the next one in the store. Random team number two, dual case, double header. But thanks to everybody that got in on the first one. Here is that full list from Carl Martinson. Down to uh, Regimal with the last spot mojo. Here is the list of teams. Rockies would be right under the Indians between the Tigers there, but from the Diamondbacks down to the Nationals. Dice roll to randomize both lists and pair them up. Three and a four, seven times. Good luck, guys. Um, I, th I honestly think that he had the, the highest floor. So seven times on the randomizer, seven times on the dice for the customers from Adam down to Travis. Yeah. Going into the draft chat, I thought, I thought he had the highest floor out of all of the uh, quarterbacks. And seven times on the teams. Seventh and final time, the Mariners down to the Rays. So seven times on the teams, seven times on the customers, and seven times on the dice. And I'll explain to you all the trade windows open, why I think that, or thought that, and still do believe it. Uh, Adam Tipton, Mariners, Alex Donnelly, J uh, Blue Jays, I Capola, Angels, Chris Butler, Pirates, Nicholas Losis, Orioles, Brian Crouch, Rangers, Jerk Corfage, Diamondbacks, Howard Zaporkin, Brewers, I Capola, White Sox, Dennis Jenkins, Giants, Carl Martinson, Reds, Howard Zaporkin, Royals, Steve Locke, Indians, Jake Warnicky, A's, David Baker, Marlins, Rick Serrano, Twins, Pat Wolf, Nationals, Nick Laplante, Yankees, Paul Kovacs, Astros, Regimal Tagalakad, Phillies, Chris Walker, Padres, Travis Melberg, Red Sox, Anthony Pasciarek, Cubs, Andrew Chang, Tigers, Wade Valentine, Cardinals, Shannon Rex, Dodgers, Matt Stone, Braves, Gary Martin, Mets, Travis Melberg, Rays. Trade window is open. So let's sort that by team for you guys. So there you go. Um, so Chad, as we were talking about, the reason I think he has the highest, he had the highest floor of all of the quarterbacks in the draft is because he faced diversity in college and so it was successful in two different offensive programs for two different colleges in his career, right? Um, and he faced adversity in regards to losing his starting job and he handled it like an absolute, with, with so much class that I think that he is fit. He was fit. Well, uh, yeah, because I think he was he was fit. Like he could fit into anybody's situation. Challenge, you know, younger place to, to follow. Um, challenger, quarterback, like draft or anything like that. I think he could fit handle the pressure, and I think he would handle it all with class, and he fit into anybody's situation. So that's why I think he had the highest floor out of all of them. Um. Yeah, Rex got the Dodgers. Uh, GTM is saying the Mets are available. So if anybody's looking to trade, Mets are on the board. Uh, since this is a little bit of a larger break, I'll give it a, a little bit longer of a trade window. Give it like a minute and a half. Uh, if there's any talk. If not, then I'll just shut it down. But dual case, 32 hits, 16 boxes, 2 hits a box. Let's see what we've got in here, guys. Rex says he would trade Dodgers for Yankees. Uh, Nick, if you are here and you are a Dodgers fan by any chance, that is available to you. Uh, David has the Marlins for trade. Um, so I'm going to give it another minute on the trades. Uh, 
Um, but, I mean, average is higher than hit or miss. The reason I, I also think higher than Burrow, Chad, even before Burrow's injury, was Burrow couldn't cut it, didn't could, didn't get the starting job in Ohio State, and took off and went to um, went to LSU, right? With the all star like you know all star cast of team and everything like that, and that's where he succeeded. One year, too, one massive year of of success. So. Um, and, like, that was literally one year. Jalen Hurts had multiple years of success in two different programs with two different teammates. I mean, two different sets of teammates, two different type of sets of coaches, and faced all the diversity throughout. So, all, even though he did have a superstar team as well. Um, another 15 seconds on the trade window. If anybody's interested in the Marlins, if not, David, uh, we'll hold with you. Um, Rex, Yankees are going to pass on that, Nick says nicely. <laughs> So trade window going once, trade window going twice. Says he'll trade Detroit for the Rockies. Um, if oh yeah, the Rockies aren't even in this, so never mind. Okay, so trade window closed. Let's print this out. Rip. Uh, Brittany says she's here with Steve. Indians are available for the Mets. Were Mets for trade? No, I don't think Mets were up for trade. We get Gary did say Mets were for trade. Gary, one last shot there. Mets uh, for for the who is it for the Indians? Is that, do you want to do that or not? And if that's the case, Brittany, I just need Steve to confirm his uh, pass. Okay, cool. So we're good. Let's do this. Money plays. Here's the cases, guys. So I'm going to pop these open, pop out all the packs, get all, rid of all the packaging, and then we're just going to go straight. All the hits, all the time. Uh, I'm not sure, Rex. I don't know how much they were. I can look for you a little bit later on, though. There is our fall, a full list. Thanks to everybody for getting in. Like I said, there is another dual case break in the store. Uh, this one sold really quick, so. Oh, they're 130? Nice. Trade window closed, David. Make sure you're watching live. You might be on the delay. Uh, yeah. Rex, you're so good at math. be exactly the sport we're breaking to talk, you know? But, if we're going to talk baseball, Braves are up 4-1 to one in the bottom of the sixth with two men on and two outs in the elimination game. You got Ozzy Albies. What was it Ozino? What, was, what were the early early cards they said on there? 
Ozohino. Obvious. So much five star here. This is fun. But yeah, Nick Nick I think posted this like early this morning. This snap filled. So there is another one of these in the store. So there's one case, eight boxes. I think I've only done like one or two cases of this so far, but it's been great. It is, Nick. It is. I mean, it's beautiful stuff, too. And if the and randomizer works out in your luck, or in your favor, obviously you can get a very expensive team for a fraction of its cost. boxes good luck guys starting off with Jemai Jones for the Baltimore Orioles and Nicholas Losis and Alec Bohm 9 out of 15 Phillies Regimal Talglicad Nice Bohm rookie. These are one these are not one thirties. They are not. They're one eighties. I think I'm going to need more one eighties. At least they're not one one thirty. I'll try one more. Yeah, no, these are these are one eighties. I need more. They're big boys. Jemai Jones, non-numbered ex-angel. Now with the Orioles. said 130s. Wow. 180s for sure. Nah. Or at least maybe there's different versions. I don't know. But that one was definitely not 180 or 130. We got a redemption. But that's a Joey Bart. 10 out of 10. Another nice one there. San Francisco Giants, Dennis Jenkins. There you go, Dennis. Bohm out of 15, Bart out of 10 so far. Hell of a first case. And it's a base autograph of Garrett Crochet for the White Sox. And I Coppola. Two boxes in. Two very nice hits. We've got Mike Soroka to 50 for the Braves, Matt Stone. And Byron Buxton for the Twins, Rick Serrano. Corey says nasty. It was a very nasty card. Good 
We've got Anderson Tejeda for the Rangers. And Brian Crouch. And Debbie Garcia. 15 out of 40 for the Yankees. Nick LaPlante. We've got Dave Parker, Big Dave Parker, 21 out of 25. Pirates, Chris Butler, and Dwight Gooden, Doc. For the Mets, Gary Martin. Try to trade. That guy was so, so huge. We got Randy, Randy Arena for the Tampa Rays, Travis Melberg, and a nice Barry Larkin Silver Ink to 20 for the Reds and Carl Martinson. These cards are so big. And Andres Jimenez for the Cleveland Indians. Steve Locke also tried to trade Mudra. And David Cohn. Yankees. Nick McClant. You don't see him a lot. That's pretty cool. And final box of case number one. We have a whole another case after this, too. That is Ryan Jeffers for the Twins, Rick Serrano, and a very nice Walker Bueller. Started tonight on three days rest, 8 out of 25. Nice two-color patch auto for the Dodgers and Rex. There you go, Rex. Nice first case. Let's see if we can continue it on with number two. First up is Christian Javier for the Astros. Paul Kovacs. And another nice Joey Bart for the Giants. This one's a base. Dennis Jenkins. Got for the Rays, Luis Patino on the front. Tampa Bay Rays, Travis Melberg, and wow, look at this. Vlad Guerrero Sr. I have not seen one of these. That's beautiful. Clear acetate little shadow box, 3 out of 10. Montreal Expos goes to the Nationals and Pat Wolf. That is a 130 or 120. That's pretty cool though. Love that. Still another six boxes to go. Got for the Red Sox, Tanner Houck. 24 out of 25, Red Sox, Travis Melberg, and Air Jordan. Jordan Alvarez, Houston Astros, Paul Kovacs. I think highest batting average in a uh, in a, a league championship series of all time. What he, he had like a 522 batting average or something like that. Pretty unreal. Pretty much Red Sox could not get him out. It's 
scary because of how much power he has, too. You got Luan Diaz, 12 out of 50 for the Marlins. David Baker and Eloy. Chicago White Sox, Icapola. He is the, the most overlooked rookie from the class of 2019, obviously because of Laddie and Tatis. That dude is so good. One of my favorites. We've got Braves, William Contreras, Atlanta Braves, Matt Stone, and Gold Inc. JT Realmuto, 6 out of 20 for the Phillies and Regimel Taglicad. Last spot mojo. Three more boxes, 12 more hits. You got Luke Voigt for the Yankees, Dick LaPlante. And another gold, Matt Chapman this time, 10 out of 10 for the A's and Jake Warnicke. Here you go, Jake. I think he, uh, I've heard some stuff about him possibly getting traded this offseason. That would be huge. Huge for somebody. This one's thin. Probably a redemption in there. On the front, though, we've got Jim Tomey. 24 out of 25 for the Indians. That is Steve Locke. Love some Jim Tomey. And our redemption is Sam Huff for the Texas Rangers base autograph. That's Brian Crouch in the Rangers. <coughs> what did I say? I said 12? Yeah, I was wrong. One box, two hits left. Now my math is right. Let's finish it with something nice. You've got Dave Parker again. Pirates. Chris Butler, and the last hit is Ivan Rodriguez, Silver Ink Auto. That is Florida Marlins edition, two out of five. Miami Marlins, Florida Marlins, David Baker to finish off the break. Nice two out of five Pudge, Marlins edition. And there you go, guys. That's the break. Like I said, there's another two dual case break in the store now. Plus, pick your teams as well. So, that was 2021 Tops Five Star Baseball Double Header Dual Case Break Random Team Number One from jaspyscasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jaspyscasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time.